This was the worst Lego purchase I've ever made, but not for why you think. So I wanted to get two of those boxes so that I could build Mickey and Minnie and combine the two arts into one single artwork. One day I saw that Best Buy was selling them for $20 off. And I was like, oh, $20 off, that's perfect, good deal. I'll just go ahead, impulse buy in a way, but I already been wanting them. So I placed them order, but they only had enough for one set. They're like, I guess we're getting sold out or something. After I'd placed the order on Best Buy, I realized that it was gonna take a week for it to come. And then I had to go pick it up from Best Buy, not even be getting shipped to my house. So I was like, okay, fine, I can deal with that. But I still wanted that second set to be able to combine both of them. So I searched on eBay and I found one for $90. That's even $10 off of the other price I found at Best Buy. So I was like, oh, well, sweet. I'll buy it, of course, because I need the second one. So I bought it. It came like within two days. It was basically prime shipping. It was crazy. So cool. And then I waited the week. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go pick up the Lego set, Mickey, from Best Buy on this Saturday. But I get an email saying, sorry about the delay. It's going to be another week until you can pick it up. I'm like, two weeks. So I'm happy that I have one of the Mickey sets that I can build. So I build that, go ahead, and then I still have a wait, a week to wait. So in that week, we build other Lego sets, as you can see here. I'm not saying we built all those in a week, but <laughs> we built other Legos that we had. And finally, I get the email that says, your shipment has arrived at Best Buy. I'm like, okay, sweet, I can go to Best Buy. So I take the long drive. I don't live close to Best Buy, which is why it was such a bad purchase. I paid 10 extra dollars to go drive to Best Buy. I could have just not bought it there, bought it on eBay, got it sa money saved, got it sooner, and saved money Ugh. from gas and driving. Ugh. It was just so, so irritating that I also couldn't cancel the order. They also said something where, the order's been placed, you can't cancel it. Like, I'm sure I could have gone through the effort and canceled it, but then that's wasting my time that I could be spending building Legos. So I was like, okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm not in that much of a rush, but still paying $10 to pick 10 more dollars to pick it up for myself. That's what was annoying. Okay, this part's a little funny though. So we get to Best Buy, I go inside, I have to go to the counter to ask, can I get my order and show them the code? So then the girl goes, walks back into the back and then I'm just sitting there waiting for her to come back. Just like, oh yeah, I'm cool. I got a Lego coming for me. I don't see any of you guys that have Legos. That's what I'm thinking at least. And <clears throat> Maybe I was just standing there like, I don't know what I looked like. I wasn't there to see myself. She comes back, hands me the Lego set, and I say, oh, thank you. And then she says, oh, that's so cool. Have fun building it. And I'm like, yes, I was right in what I was thinking. I am the cool guy. And then I tell her, you too, and wave and walk out the door. Then as I'm walking out the door, I realize I just made myself not the cool guy. I said, you too, to her building the Lego set. What? Um, yeah, just naturally came out. So don't say things when you're not thinking, I guess. That's the moral of the story. Don't buy this from Best Buy, or, or at least get it shipped. I bought other sets from Best Buy before, and they actually shipped it to me, but picking it up from the store was a big bet downside. I, I, I failed in so many ways. Learn from my mistakes and go out and use the codes in the description to buy yourself Lego sets that, and they will actually ship to you. It'll be a good thing. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you all. <laughs> Bye.